This demonstration shows how Ship Constructor can be used to rapidly develop a structural model. During the basic design phase, a model needs to be produced with enough detail to accurately estimate weight and center of gravity, produce an early stage bill of materials, define the space, and allow export into analysis software like FEA. As a starting point, we have imported a surface model into Ship Constructor. We have marked sections on the hull and used those sections to define the planar groups. Before we start modeling, we will activate the task. It is good practice to use tasks as it is a great way of assigning and managing, tracking a set of changes to be made to the ship and transferring changes between sister ships. First up, we'll model the main deck. What we see here is the outline of the deck we defined in the hull model. We can show the locations of bulkheads, show datum locations on the deck plate, shows where we need to locate our stiffeners. We can then create our first profile. Using the copy, mirror, or array commands maintains a relationship with the original part. We can then mirror the profiles about the center line of the ship as it, in this case, is symmetrical. We can create a new parallel plane for the deck thickness. This will be used later to create a parametric construction line. So far, you have seen how a small number of simple commands like copy, mirror, trim, and offset, when applied to shipbuilding specific objects, are used to create the beginning of an intelligent ship model. Later, we'll see these parametric relationships and others used to rapidly build the rest of the model. We'll look at creating the first longitudinal bulkhead. In this case, we will show the deck mold and thickness planes. Using both these planes to define the deck creates a parametric relationship for the longitudinal plate should the deck change height. Vertical profiles can now be added to the bulkhead plate. However, this time we will apply a trim. The ends are trimmed to the appropriate deck planes. We will now repeat this process adding our profiles to the upper deck. We have attached these profiles at all the datum locations maintaining a relationship to the original. Should the deck height change or connecting profiles change, they will update automatically. The longitudinal bulkhead has only been created on the starboard side. We need to mirror it about the center line of the ship. The frame plates can be defined by selecting in between the boundaries. Datum lines can be used to help locate cutout locations within the ring frame. These plates can be mirrored about the center line of the ship. The frames we have created can now be replicated to the other transverse planar groups, including the watertight sections, maintaining a relationship with the original parts. We'll now look at creating the plated in frames by clicking inside the mold plane boundaries. Although not required at this stage, stiffener cutouts can be added at the click of a button if required. We will now add vertical profiles to the plates. These profiles require a trim. In this case, I will set an offset allowing it to connect with the longitudinal profile it intersects. This builds a parametric relationship with the deck should it need to change position later. These plate parts together with their attached profiles can be mirrored about the center line of the ship before being replicated to similar frame types. Now let's look at the result. While I have only demonstrated modeling one unit, the whole ship could be modeled at once before the unit breakdown is defined. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.